the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain, Bahrain International, I'm Shad Aqil. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, reviewed the Kingdom of Bahrain's stance and support for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in combating all forms of terrorism and standing against anyone who tries to target its security and holy places. The minister affirmed that any attempt threatening Saudi Arabia is a threat to the whole Islamic world. This came during the participation of the Minister of Foreign Affairs in the emergency meeting of the Islamic Cooperation Organization, which was held on Thursday in Mecca and focused on the issue of Yemen's militia forces launching a missile towards Mecca and Saudi Arabia. The minister highlighted that Mecca is one of the holiest places on earth, adding that the meeting focused on standing against any attempt that targets holy places. He added that the world is facing a criminal militia that did not show respect to most holy places and the feelings of millions of Muslims. He said the terrorist act targeting Mecca using a ballistic missile is an example of the criminal militia's refusal to listen to the international community and standing against a political solution for the Yemeni crisis. He went on to say that the world is astonished to see such criminal acts targeting Mecca, something which is rejected by religion and human values. He went on to say that every Muslim is proud to witness the role of Saudi Arabia in protecting and safeguarding holy places. This is in addition to Saudi Arabia's role in serving Hajj pilgrims and providing them with security and comfort. The minister affirmed Bahrain's support to Saudi Arabia in combating all forms of terrorist acts that target Saudi Arabia's and its holy sites. He expressed full support to Saudi Arabia and the measures it takes to protect its security and stability. Racing got underway, flagging off three exciting days of intense competition at the home of motorsport in the Middle East. More in this report with Mohamed Janahi. The Bahrain Motorsport Festival is of a huge significance to the international motor racing community. Three of the eight world championships under the International Automobile Federation, the FIA, are being decided in the kingdom. As the home of motorsports in the Middle East and the Bahrain International Circuit, we're very honored to have three world championships running this weekend, today and tomorrow. Uh, we're very excited because it's the first time we have three championships. Uh, from karting, we have 150 drivers in WEC total, about two. So collectively, there are 270. And uh, we look forward to a great championship and we hope people join us. The Bobco Six Race of Bahrain marks the ninth and final round of the 2016 FIA WEC season. Several titles are set to be decided in the kingdom, including the FIA World Endurance Drivers' Championship, which has come down to two horse race between the team of Porsche and the Toyota team. Only 17 points separating the two teams, with the Porsche boys in the lead, promising a very tight and exciting finish. Other championship other than the FIA World Endurance Championship, the CIK FIA World Championship and the CIK Junior Championship will be decided as well in the festival which is headlining the event. Well, we're always proud of, of uh, hosting these large events here and showing the capability of young Bahrainis, young and old Bahrainis, <laughs> I won't be biased towards the young. Uh, and, and to show the world that, that we, can, we can host uh, these events at an international level uh, and, and be proud of it. I mean, we've, you've seen us go to other countries and, and, and help with their events. Uh, so in our own country, we, we do the best we can. And uh, it's just an opportunity for us to show the rest of the world uh, the hospitality of Bahrainis and how, uh, uh, you know, how we take care of our guests. So. The festival is a massive logistical undertaking with over 268 drivers from all over the world competing in their various categories and another 1,046 team members playing their part during the weekend. Overall we have like five, five international events which is the three of those events that I mentioned plus the Formula One as well as the WTCC. So this is uh, something uh, big for Bahrain that we're hosting three international world uh, events in one weekend um, run by Bahraini uh, marshals as well as uh, management. If we're talking about the Bahrain International Circuit, 
and the Bahrain Motor Federation and the Motorsport Marshals Club. All this gathered together to uh, make this event as a successful event and uh, we thank everybody that have given us the support uh, to make this event a successful event. The WEC will be staging the final round of its 2016 season with the Bobco Race of Bahrain. The Karting World marks the only SIK FIA event of the year being held outside of Europe and it's almost the most significant at the sports grassroots level. The festival also features a pair of supporting championship in Bahrain bred Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East and the Indian based MRF Challenge. All of this has been concluded today in the Kingdom of Bahrain and especially at the home of motorsports in the Middle East, the Bahrain International Circuit. Reporting for Bahrain International, this is Hamad Janahi.